Hey everyone, welcome back to a, another video of mine. So I kind of wanted to start something that's new for me, that's new, new to my channel, my monthly recaps. So today I'm doing my January recap, and I don't know how I want to do this. I mean, you can call this like a collective haul, kind of, or I don't know, I really don't know how I want to like word it. I think I'm just going to call it my January recap, because today... Because I'm going to go through my Artist of Life workbook and just fill out the last bit of January and whatnot. But before I do that, I kind of just want to show you guys what I got throughout of the month of January. So that's what I'm going to do first before we do this. The first thing I kind of want to show you guys what I got is this little dumpling. I kind of tweeted about this, but I got this dumpling light. There's no batteries in it at all, but I haven't put batteries in it yet. So yeah. This little cute little dumpling so this is what I got and I want to put this on like my bookshelf and I got some CDs I got Taylor Swift's new album Evermore and then Shawn Mendes's signed CD um, Wonder so these came in the month of January I believe so this is something I did not order at all I was not expecting this to come into the mail so I got basically this little catalog or PR, whatever you really want to call it, that Halsey sent out to, it was either 10,000 fans or 100,000 fans that she sent out at random. Basically PR, that's what I'm calling it, because there are little um, makeup samples in here, which are right here. Mm -hmm. um, I have not like touched them at all, because um, I actually don't really wear makeup at all. So, but here's like the inside of like this catalog for her new makeup line about face. So, yeah, I was not expecting to get this at all because I saw people like were getting this on Twitter. So, and when I saw it in the mail, I was like, whoa, this is not happening. So, yeah, so I, I was one of those fans that got this which I'm really surprised that I did so but yeah but like I said I don't wear makeup so I don't know it's kind of like I don't know I'm glad that I got this though I'm very very grateful for that so yeah this is just something random that I got I'm calling it like PR for Halsey's new uh, about face makeup line so yeah this was pretty cool to see that I got this and then I got some vinyls in the mail. I feel like I got this in December, but I don't feel like I did though. I, I don't know. I couldn't remember if I got this in January or not, but I'll show you the color of it. I don't think they were... I think... What color was it? Oh, yes. It was gold. It was a gold vinyl. So. This one is Nightly. They are a band, and this was kind of... A purchase that I made in January, I was like, I need to get this, even though I really didn't need it, but I really, really love the color of this, so, yeah. I just had to get it. I just had to get it. Impulse buy. I didn't really need it, but, um, yeah, this album's actually very, very good. It's not K-pop, so, but yeah. This is also kind of like an impulsive buy. I really didn't need it, but I loved it, and so Taylor Swift came out with some jewelry just earrings or a ring so I got this ring and I thought it was so pretty so I ended up getting it this was a need I got new glasses because I needed to get new glasses because the last time I got new glasses was four years ago so uh, yeah so this is one of the pairs that I got and the other pair is well I'm wearing the other pair but I'll show you guys and I got clear a clear frame so yeah pretty simple ones. A few of my co co-workers, we did a secret Santa. So my co-worker, she gave me some socks, a candle, and like some, some hand sanitizer, but she also gave me a gift card to Duncan. And um, so she customized it and put my dog Quentin on the gift card. And I thought this was so unique. Like I didn't even think this was possible that you could customize gift cards at Duncan, but you can. So yeah. I think this was like the best gift I've ever gotten. So, yeah, she put my little, my doggy, Quentin, 
on there. So I thought it was so cute for the month of January. So the unboxings I posted or things I got for K-pop, I got these two and I unboxed these two for in January. So yep, I unboxed I had got AT's season's greetings and TXT's season's greetings. So if you want to see those unboxings, um, go check it out. Or maybe I, I could put them down in the description. Maybe I'll put them down in the description if you guys want to check out these unboxings. And then another unboxing I did was Cravity's season three hideout, be our voice, and I got all three versions. So that unboxing is up. So if you want to check out that one too. So and I got Victon's first full album. The future is now. So, and I did, there's an unboxing of that. So, if you want to go check out that unboxing, go right ahead. <laughs> this is basically me just promoting all my unboxing videos in this video. So, I got Treasures, first full album. Okay, so I think that's basically about all I got. I, I am doing my very first trade, which I'll be sending that package out on Monday. So, that's exciting. I'm doing my very first trade. And I bought stuff for... So I can start actually like trading photo cards because I don't have top loaders or sleeves or anything like that. But I finally bought some, which is so good. And thank you cards and whatnot. So, and I tweeted that out too. So I did that and I got a bookshelf and I got a six shelf bookshelf. So anyway, into this. So this is my artist of life workbook. So basically it's like a gold book. And so you have your quarter one your quarter one, which is January, February, and March, and basically you pick a theme for quarter one, and I put productive and quarter one goals, um, film videos. I think that's just in general. Get a book sh bookshelf, which I did. New glasses. So this is overall, and then for January, um, for sure goals that you want to do, and then this is a reflection wheel, which I have not done. Then we have january goals and basically you write down like january will be and i don't ever do that because i don't really know so but my main goals for january were make an appointment for my eyes which i did um i crossed out get organized because i did that i got a bookshelf i what else did i do i can't remember um get tabs for my car which i did um, make an appointment for Quentin, which is my dog. I did not do that at all. I kind of forgot about that. And clean my bathroom. I have not done that. So, but yeah. And then mini goals, just film videos for YouTube and get organized. So, PC. So, photo cards and, like, the spare room, which is where I'm in now. And then general review. And so, basically, what kind of, like, do with this, like, with my monthly recap is kind of, like, kind of fill this out. Kind of, like, shh, I don't know fill it out with you guys I guess um but yeah January in one word I honestly really don't know I I really don't like that part of this workbook like how was January like what was how would you describe January in one word I really don't know how was how was your guys's January like if you could explain January in one word how was your guys's January and then so in this month I took steps to get closer to my goals and dream life I mean I think that that I say three because I did quite a few of my goals, but did I get into like, you know, closer to my dream life? No. Um, January highlights. I'm going to fill that out. Not on camera, but so basically what did I learn this month? What am I proud of? The What am I proud of? And how can I improve moving forward? What did I learn this month? Well, so I had my um, stirring PC video and I got kind of like only a little part of it got copyright claimed because it was the BTS song. So I kind of learned don't really put BTS songs like background music, even though it's not like if it's like a different version of it or whatnot, like someone else's, you know, version of a BTS song. I kind of learned, just, you know, just stick away from BTS songs because I feel like I would get copyrighted a lot. So I kind of learned that. And I'll come back to that. What am I proud of? I am I am proud of with how many subscribers I gained this month. I think I have 347 and I'm proud of that. And I'm so grateful for everyone that keeps continuing to subscribe to my channel. Like, I'm just very, very grateful for y'all. How can I improve moving forward? What can I improve? For sure, like, 
what I can improve is start doing my goals and actually start getting more organized and like don't procrastinate on doing stuff so like for instance with my bookshelf like I plan on doing like a video of that and like whatnot um for sure by end of February I I want that bookshelf up and I want all my albums out of boxes and get this spare room more organized and whatnot so I think that's how I can improve and actually make an appointment for my dog actually clean my bathroom don't procrastinate on things and actually just do it I'm terrible at that I don't know if anyone else is but so but I'm curious like what did you guys learn this month and what are you guys proud of and how can you guys move improve moving forward and then into February goals and most likely I'll just write this off camera because yeah I'll be like editing this and having this with me and like just writing everything that I said. February goals, putting up my bookshelf and getting organized with my albums. I think planning some things from for some trips. I have some trips I want, I'm planning. So many goals, obviously just videos, keep um, videos. And then right here is a habit tracker and basically I usually write vitamins, skincare, and then gratitude and light. With that one, la like with for January, I just put like grateful for everyone that's subscribing to my channel because I am very, very, very grateful for you all for, dis for subscribing to my channel. So yeah, that's my artist of life workbook. If you guys actually want me to write in it for like my February one, just like let me know because I'm not really sure if I really, really want to write in, in it. like. Cause I feel like that would make the video so much longer. I finally print off, so I have a vision board, and I finally printed off some photos that I want to put up on my vision board. Because usually when I do my vision board, I usually do it kind of like it. I kind of wait till like the last few days and the new year, um, just because like I don't really know what I want to bring into yet into 2021. I will be showing you that clip of me putting onto my vision board and changing out the old ones and putting the new ones on. Okay, so my new vision board is up and I feel so much better with this. I love I love how it is more on the lighter side and whatnot compared to last year's. It was more on the darker side and such darker yeah, it was just so much darker. And so yeah, this is kinda like what I want to bring more into 2021. I do want to travel more and I do have some trips planned. I have quite a few videos that I have planned for the month of February. I hope you enjoyed this kind of random video. If you actually did enjoy it, give it a like. Go comment down how your January went. I would love to know how you guys' January went. If you want to see more videos from me, go subscribe because I have quite a few videos coming in February that are K-pop related and non-K-pop related. So if you want to keep updated of the videos that I do in February, go subscribe so you can stay updated on the videos that I post. I just want to say thank you for almost 350 subscribers. I am so grateful for you all. I'll see you guys in my next video or unboxing or just a really random video of mine. I hope January was good to you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!